I suck at decorating. As you all may know, I am absolutely terrible at it. But do not worry, with the power of friendship, I'm just gonna ask my friends to teach me how to decorate. Hello, so um, dude, you're like the only person I know with like creator points. Can you teach me how to decorate? No. Alright then. Well, time for last resort. I'm pretty sure this guy has some knowledge, right? Yo, what's up? Yeah, so you're like the last person I know that has creator points. Can you teach me how to decorate in Geometry Dash? Are you out of your mind? What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, like, I know nothing about the editor. Why would you expect me to know anything, first off? Like, I don't really get why. <sighs> I guess I'll just gonna watch some online tutorials. Wait, this is on YouTube. Send a message. I guess this works. Yeah, this definitely works. All right, we're on GD now. I guess it's time to decorate, but before that, we need a layout. So I'm just gonna... Well, would you look at that? A layout magically appeared. Uh, I guess now it's time to ask ChatGBT to decorate this. But before that, we need a theme. And I know who to ask for that. Well, this is not what I expected. How am I supposed to build this? Oh, come on. I haven't even started decorating yet, and I already got one of the steps wrong. So after regenerating the answer. All right, I guess this is more like it. ChatGPT wants us to make a space theme, which I'm not too confident about, but you know what? Hey, ChatGPT is here to help. Well, for the first step, ChatGPT wants us to create a background. According to ChatGPT, we have to select a background image, so... In the level editor, click on the backgrounds tab. There's no backgrounds tab. Oh, you mean this one? Okay, okay. Choose the image that best matches the theme of your level. There's not a single one that really represents it well, other than this, but... Eh? Alright, okay, this is... It's, it's not that bad. I guess we'll roll with this. Position the background image. Uh, I don't think we can do that. Adjust background parallax. To enable parallax, click on the background image, and you'll see a small gear what icon. What the hell? And you can adjust the parallax properties. Bro, this is not 2.2, what the f Maybe let's start with block design first. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Define the theme. Revisit the theme of your level. Alright, I guess since this is somewhat a space theme, I'm gonna make this place dark then. Consider using space themed elements like floating platforms, rotating planets, or laser barriers. Honestly speaking, these actually look quite nice. Nice. ChatGPT never taught me how to make any of these, so I just made them myself. I even tried to like force ChatGPT to like teach me how to do it, but it wouldn't teach me, so... You know what? One platform isn't enough. I guess we should maybe work on more block designs, so... Aha! Uh -huh. Start with a basic block as the platform's base. Choose a metallic or futuristic texture to give it a space age appearance. Add glowing outlines to the platform edges to make it stand out and give it a sci-fi vibe. Use decorations or smaller blocks with a bright color to achieve this effect. Incorporate moving lights- Wait, now hold up a minute. What does ChatGPT mean by moving lights? Does he mean something like the particle block? I mean, I guess we can use that. So, yeah, sure, continue. Incorporate moving lights on the platform. Use rotating decorations or decorations with animation to create the illusion of pulsating lights or twinkling stars. Scatter small pieces of floating debris around the platform. You can use decorations like asteroids or spaceship parts to make it seem like the platform is floating in the middle of space. Alright guys, I think I'm done. Let me just like move this down. Yeah, okay, okay. This looks nice. All I need right now is just like a spike design. And I know who to ask. Okay, so ChatGPT gave us a list of what we should do. However, ChatGPT didn't give clear steps, but I, I think it's going to be similar to like a block design. So I'm just gonna build a spike with basically all the concepts that I learned from the block design phase. So first of all, we need like a, a base color, I guess. So let's choose something like a... Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. And then we should start with a spike in the middle here. And I'm gonna slide this all out. Aha! And then we're gonna start with a mini spike. Oh, okay, okay. We gotta make it somewhat a little bit like futuristic kind of thing. We can use like these spikes over here. Scale this down to be like very small. Yeah, okay, okay. This, this looks nice. Yeah, we should add a glow piece. And we'll put it at the center of the... The spike. Oh, okay, this looks nice. Let me make this bigger. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, th this looks nice. This looks nice. I guess we're gonna use this. So I'm gonna uh, bunch this up using the link trigger. This is pretty much it. Okay, hold up a minute. ChatGPT said we have to make three types of spikes, so I guess we can copy this. So we have three different spikes right here. The first one, ChatGPT wants us to make some sort of a starry spike. I guess we should just put 
stars on them. Okay, how do I make a star? How do how do how do, what does a star look like? What huh? I guess this looks good enough. All right, all right, this looks all right. I guess we just slap this onto the spike. We set it to like a higher Z order. Yo, wow! ChatGPT really gave a good answer. I, I don't know why the yellow really pops out of the spike. It really feels like. It feels good. Okay, so for the second one, asteroid spikes. I guess we should make something that resembles a small asteroid, and I know what to do with that. We should start with one of the new items. I wouldn't say new, but two, because 2.1 is like six years ago now. I'm gonna use the, uh, the rock structures right here. We're gonna make a floating rock in space. Yes. First of all, we're gonna start with like a rock structure. Just give, give me a moment, let me cook, let me cook. I think this is not bad, right? We just change this to a little bit of grey colour. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this looks nice. Damn, okay. So this is our floating rock. Not the best, but you know what? I like it. I'm gonna put one of these on top of the spike. I'm gonna scale this up a little bit. So it's like the spike is hidden behind the rock. Like it's built into it, I guess. I don't know. I guess we can also rotate a little bit so it looks more varied. You know what? Whatever. Uh, uh, glow. Yes, we can put glow. I hope this works. Oh, okay. Okay, now we're talking. Guys, guys, look. Shading. This overall, this is actually really good. Nice. And then the next one is nebula spikes. We gotta make spikes with colors or patterns that resembling nebulas. I don't know how to make a nebula. I, I am also not too sure what a nebula looks like. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I guess we just, maybe we just skip that because I genuinely have no idea what to do with it. So maybe we should just bring all these spikes down as well as the blocks I just decorated. So without further ado, here's the time lapse. Holy crap, this looks actually like this genuinely looks really nice. I genuinely like how this looks. We pretty much have decorated every single structure except for the beginning. I have a pl I have plans for that, but more on that later. Like the, the core gameplay is pretty much done. I guess now that we all have to do right now is basically use this ball of earth that we made earlier. Pretty sure we're going to just make it explode at the beginning. So it's more like a cutscene kind of thing. So yeah, I guess let's start off by selecting everything and move it, yeah, around like here. I feel like here's a good spot. We're going to pretty much explode this ball of earth. So the first of all, I, I want to, what I want to do is maybe just add like a new ground level at the top. Maybe let's remove all this, I guess. All right, maybe let's decorate th this ball of earth a little bit more. I want some clouds on it so it feels more earthy. Is that a word? I don't know if that's a word or not. Comment down below if that's a word or not. Let me know. But yeah, all right. This looks nice. I kind of like it. Let's start with the cutscene. I want to explode every time the, the song goes boom. So yeah, it follows the player around. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Okay, I, I feel like that's better. So we got to start exploding the hell out of this. How do I make an explosion? Maybe let's just put meteors. Yeah, maybe that's funny. Yeah, we, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put meteors because that's funny as hell. There we go. That's a meteor. Uh, okay, we gotta texture the meteor a little bit because I feel like this is a little bit too empty. Yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much done. We can also implement some glow. Maybe we can use something like this. Okay, now now, now we're getting somewhere. It it looks kind of nice. Oh yeah, there we go. This is what I'm this is what I'm looking for. This is, now this this is a meteor. So now what we need to do we just want this entire meteor to like hit the earth this is going to be group seven <laughs> <laughs> why is that so funny so this is where the meteor hit i want this to explode the hell off the earth so we're going to make explosion particles. I do not know how to make explosion particles. You know what? I'm going to ask ChatGPT. How do I make an explosion in geometry dash? Question mark. Aha, all right. How to build a pipe bomb. You will need 20 Hey, yo, no, no, no. 
Okay, so we gotta use some particles. And according to ChatGBT, the decoration tab in the level editor offers various particle effects that I can utilize. So particle effects, where are the particles? Bruh. Nope, I don't see any particles. Seriously though, I actually don't see any particles. Um, okay, there we go. Yeah, we found some particles. It's not like the best particles. We can also use some of these, but I doubt this will any, like come to any use anyway. So let's just use stuff like in here. We got a fire. Aha. So we now got a fire and we're gonna add some glow effects on these. Okay, copy this, scale this down. All right, there we go. So we got like some sort of a circular glow. Okay, yeah, okay, this looks all right. We need particle effects. ChatGPT wants us to use particle effects. So, okay, now these looks all right. Let's make this appear. Eight appears when the asteroid hits Earth. Okay, that's way better. And we have to add, we have to add like shake effects and stuff, uh, so that it, it creates intensity. We can also add some more fire in the surrounding area. Now this is funny. Yeah, this would be really funny. Let's see. Oh, that's great. Five minutes later. All right, so this should be it. I want the entire screen to flash white. We're gonna make a white screen. So we're gonna go to a different layer, and then we're gonna start placing a huge, huge white ground, I guess. All right, I think this should be it. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay, that's what I wanted. That, this is great, man. Nice. After playing a few times, I honestly think that we need a lot of air deco. I have a few ideas, but let's ask ChatGPT first. Okay, so ChatGPT wants us to make rotating and moving spikes, which is actually a really good idea. Like, not gonna lie, I actually like that idea. Wait, I think I have an idea. Yeah, maybe we can use stuff from the explosion, uh, got shot out into space, and yeah, we can use that. That's a really good idea. I guess first off, maybe we should start using some... Maybe we can just take these stone blocks, and then maybe we can like shrink them down. We can add like an invisible saw blade inside of it. Oh, that's perfect. Nice. That's a good hitbox. To make it more interesting, I honestly don't know what to do. Kind of want it to look like ice shards or something. That'll be really cool. And then I I, th I think of an idea. Let me let me cook. Yeah, no, I don't think this is good enough. This looks. Ugh. Yeah, this this looks ugly. Never mind. Now this this looks way better. Nice. Since ChatGPT wants us to make rotating spikes, I guess we should just make this thing rotate. Then I mean, technically this is a spike, right? This is where it's exploded from, and you want I want it to go to the right. Oh wow. Okay, now that looks good. That genuinely looks good. Let me slow this down. Wow. Oh, I love the particle effects. That's so good. Well, I guess it's time to copy and paste this thing everywhere. One eternity later. Nice. Like, honestly speaking, these actually look good. Okay, so now ChatGPT wants us to make some sort of uh, twinkling stars and some glow effects, but you know what? I think I have an idea for those. So for the twinkling stars, I honestly would just copy and paste what I've made before. I guess, nah, you know what? We're not gonna be too lazy. I'm just gonna... Alright, this looks nice. Okay, not bad, not bad. So maybe let's move this down and we can also like copy and paste it, rotate it a little bit, shrink this down. Oh, no. Okay, now this looks good. This looks good. We need more of these because we need to fill in like the empty spots. I think this is alright. Yeah, I think we got enough stars that... Yeah, this should be enough. And next, we need glow effects. I got one animation in mind. I want basically this part right here. I want it to like explode. Shoot out a bunch of like glowing bits. Okay, yeah. Dang, those look really good. I like that. That effect? Yeah, that, that genuinely... I don't know. I don't know what else can I make, that's like the best thing I could have done anyway, so I'm proud. Ooh, ooh, wait, there's still some empty spots like right here, and there's like one more around like here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add something interesting. Oh, nice, that's great. Yeah, so I added this kind of like alien kind of thing, where it basically, it rotates up. 
from an axis yeah yeah so this is the center point as you can see so it rotates up and it's gonna chase the player a little bit it, it kind of i mean it kind of looks like it's chasing the player but bear with me i'm not that great with triggers as anyway so so it should rotate up chasing the player and then it should rotate back down which creates like some sort of an effect like oh you're getting chased by an alien ooh, ooh, ooh scary blah, blah 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 this is cool i really like this idea and i'm probably going to do another one right here as well i guess majority of the stuff that we want to build is already done maybe let's start with the background i guess chat gpt wants us to make some sort of a debris i don't know maybe we can just put something like glass panes or something the background floating yeah that that'll be good uh we can also add some mini structures that that's rotating and like floating in space yeah that'd be great two hours later you, you can see that i've added some structures right here you can uh, you can see i've added some glass shards and some debris this looks nice i'm gonna show you like what it looks like it looks good and i also added these stars which actually look great okay bro now chat gpt wants us to implement aliens you know what i think i have the perfect thing to add <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Last but not least, ChatGPT wants us to make some sort of special effects. We can add something like the laser beams that we made earlier, or we can maybe add some special effects, like some background effects. Maybe some pulses would work well. I feel like the pulses would really carry on to the intensity of the level. So maybe we should do that as well. I'm going to also add some glow effects. So yeah, I guess first thing that I want to add real quick first is like this laser beam right here. Yeah, I really like this laser beam design. I'm gonna use it right here because why not? I'm gonna move all these glow pieces to, to layer 10 so it's easier for me to manage. And I also want to pulse them. So for each laser beam, I'm planning to give each laser beam a different group. So group 47 needs to pulse. So group 47 uh, starts off invisible. So once it passes this line, you can see that it pulses. Baba boy. I really think it goes a long way. So yeah, I'm gonna do the same with the rest. Alright, next up, we're going to be making some background pulses because we haven't done that already and I feel like it would really go a long way. So I'm just gonna copy this and just gonna paste it. Alright, so that, that should be done. Lastly, we're going to finally add our foreground or maybe our glow effect and it's going to be really simple. We're really just going to be just adding a huge glow layer on, on the bottom. Yeah, okay, this looks nice. Well, this is it. Before I showcase the final product, do I recommend using ChatGPT to learn how to decorate? Well, not really. Since you need to have at least basic knowledge on color theory, triggers, etc. But overall, I really do recommend asking ChatGPT for tips and ideas. It really helps out if you're really on the mind block. Well, I guess this is it. If you end up liking this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Well, without further ado, Enjoy the showcase.